Detroit City Airport was a busy place on Sunday, part of a special program put on by the National Museum of the Tuskegee Airmen. The museum honors the first black military airman who served this country in World War II. Priya Mann reports this event was about finding a new generation of pilots. These pilots are volunteering their time, their planes, and their fuel to take these kids up into the air. And the goal for the Tuskegee National Museum is to encourage more kids to explore fields in aerospace engineering and aviation. It was fun. You can see the whole city in the clouds. Whether it's your first time flying or you've lost count, being the co-pilot of a powerful aircraft like this is always a thrill. It was just really awesome. I was like really high up. And, the, and they felt like really in control. 16 year old John Lagarde wants to become a pilot when he grows up. Everybody can't go to flight school, so just to be able to fly a plane is really a great opportunity. You get the front seat, big fella. Nearly 100 kids got to fly in propeller planes and a helicopter Sunday at Detroit City Airport. This program is very critical to the youth in Detroit. They are not exposed to the careers in aviation, aerospace science, aerospace engineering. And the museum stands in a good position to introduce them to all of the careers that you could even think of. For two decades, the Tuskegee Airmen National Museum's Young Eagles program gives kids 8 through 17 the chance to fly for free. We did not have these kind of opportunities, and I think now that um, so many people are sharing their time and their talents with the kids and just opening up new doors for them, it's really exciting. I'm thankful for this opportunity to get on it. I think it's going to be fun. And if you think your child might be interested in this program, we have info on clickondetroit.com. In Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.